All right, let me find the right file here. Um, <clears throat> but this is going to be uh, the Hip Roofs Made Easy video. Um, <clears throat> I started doing one before, and this is the house uh, where the, that we're doing the guest house for. And <clears throat> I did this demo in class, and it worked out great. And then I, I uh, brain farted, um, and when I went to to do a quick hip roof demo, I came out with something that looked like this and I had to literally step away from it to kind of figure out what was going on. So um, when I do start the hip roof, um, the first thing I kind of do is I do chart it out uh, kind of from the top, at least loosely knit from the top uh, to kind of figure out what's going on. Like I know I have a ridge and I know I've got um, a hip going this way and this way and this way. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and do it kind of ignoring that. So um, like with any roof, the, the thing you got to make sure um, is that you have your um, elevations complete, that your soffits are where they're supposed to be. And I just leave um, like so where the, the end of the soffit is. I just leave these things projecting um, uh, upwards uh, or the facial ward rather. And then I do all my trimming when it's done. OK. Um, so what I've decided on this is if I go back to the house that I'm, that I'm uh, matching, we have a 912 roof pitch right here. Um, so I'm going to go down and I'm going to construct a 912 roof pitch, okay? Um, and instead of going, you know, for every 12 inches I go over, 9 inches I go up, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to make it into feet. So I'll say every 12 feet I go over, um, I'll have a rise of nine feet. All right, and the reason I went down is so that when I connect up, I've given myself a vertical roof pitch, okay? Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to mirror this like so, because that way I've got my, um, my pitch for either side, a slope for either side, okay? So this is the front of my house right here and the, the typical thing that you would want to do is figure out where your ridge is going to go. In this case, my ridge is going to go this way. All right. And then I'll have another ridge um, going this way on this bumped out section. So there will be a, a connection like this. Okay. That'll form a, a T. Um, and I think the easiest thing to do to start is find the midpoint of the longest or widest wall that you have. So I'm going to go from here and I'm gonna bring it right over here to the, to the point on the soffit. So this is, um, I'm using the, the wall as the midpoint, and now I'm just going to extend over to right here, all right? Voila, so I know that's gonna be the, the highest point. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, and now I'm gonna to go to the ends of the building, okay? So I'm going to follow this, you know, take the longest run that you have along the ridge and come forward. And I'm going to stick this right here on the end of my soffit. And I'm going to take the matching uh, opposite side and I'm going to stick it right here on the end of my soffit. All right. And I don't know the height of the ridge yet. I have no idea what it's going to be. It could be higher than this, it could be lower than this. So what I have to do now is go back to where I started, right? And this is the wall I was using for reference where I started. Okay, it was the widest overall wall adjacent to the ridge. Okay, so now, so again, just widest overall wall adjacent to the ridge. That's your next point. Okay, so that is this wall right here, which means I'm going to go from the end of the soffit here to the end of the soffit here. Okay. So I'm going to take this and stick it right here at the end of the soffit. And I'm going to take this and stick it right here at the end of the soffit on the other side of that wall. And this could have been too short. It could have been too long. And in this case, it was just a bit too long. So I'm going to go ahead and trim 
what was overhanging. If it was too short, I would have had to extend that line up into space and extend this line up into space and then find the intersection, at which point that intersection now determines, I can shoot it way over here, and now I can shoot it way out to this point as well. Okay, because I know that's the end, of the, the limit on the other side. And that's going to be the tallest portion of my roof right there. Okay, so this and this came out very close. Sometimes it won't be that close, but that is the widest portion of the roof overall. All right. And once I'm done with that, to, to I want to keep this as simple as possible. So I just want to work from simple to easy. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chart this out. I'm just going to connect right here at that intersection where my ridge starts to slope down. And I'm going to project it up to that portion right there of my ridge. Okay. And this might, this is not part of the roof. This is just marking a location on the roof. All right. And I'm going to copy this. Oops, I can grab it from the base point. I'm going to copy it and move it over to here. And this is going to be very significant here um, on the next video. So I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to come back to the next video and um, we'll go from there.